Hey, welcome everybody. In this video, we'll integrate uh, Firebase authentication system in our application. So the authentication system will be email and password based. So in last video, we created this simple CRUD. And now let's get started with authentication. So first we'll need a sign up and sign in view. So I've created a both view uh, behind the scenes. So those view, let me show you sign in and sign up. So they are uh, simple, just two text field with one email and one password. And both are binded to this form data object, email and password. That's it. And for sign up, similar uh, email, password. And yeah, when someone clicks on sign up, uh, we are calling this method. We will talk about this method in a moment, uh, but uh, let's register this component in our router. So in a previous video, I haven't installed this router. So while installing the simple web, uh, sorry, webpack template, uh, if you say install router, yes, you'll have this setup. So you don't need to worry about setting this up. Okay, so in uh, index.js, we need to register uh, those two components, sign in and sign off. And I've defined these two routes, sign in and sign off. So that's it. So let's handle sign up part. So when user enters email and password, we want to save that to uh, Firebase. Okay, so when user enters email and password and hits sign up, we are calling this sign up method down here. So in this method, we are accessing the auth method. And with this, uh, this is the method uh, supplied by uh, Firebase. So create user with email and password. So first parameter will be email, which is binded to this and password. So in success response, we'll get created. And if there is any error, we'll get error message. So before attempting to create a new user, uh, you need to uh, take care of some uh, settings in your Firebase console. So if you go to uh, the console.firebase.google.com, you'll see your project. So whichever project you are using, just uh, go there. So go to authentication and sign in method. So it might be disabled in your console. Uh, just edit and enable, just save it. So that's it. Now let's go back to our code and let's try to uh, register a user. So I will give any name. So password will be password and let's hit sign up. Okay, we got uh, created. Let's confirm that by going to uh, our Firebase console in users. There we go. So we have uh, successfully created user. So uh, after creating user, uh, we don't want to alert this to user. Instead, what we want to do is we might have some page which uh, only only the authenticated user might access. Uh, we want to redu uh, redirect user to that page. So since we are using router, we'll access router and replace and we'll let user to go home page or whatever page. So let's go to router index. We will define that. So let's say this hello. Let's make it hello and let's define a new route, which will be the home and this will redirect user. user to slash sign in yeah so when someone uh, visits home we will redirect it to sign in we'll handle this in a moment uh, let's complete our sign up part so uh, when user is signed up uh, it will automatically get logged in and will redirect user to hello page all right so this is the sign up part let's uh, tackle sign in part so uh, uh, that will sign in form will be similar and when someone hits sign in button we'll call sign in method let's define that method 
so we'll access firebase dot auth so we'll uh, call the sign in with email and password method and then we need to pass email this dot form okay so this uh, will this will be the sign in action uh, when someone so when sign in is success we'll do same thing as sign off we'll redirect users to the page which requires authentication okay so sign up and sign in so we can test that by entering our email address and password there we go so it redirect us to the right page now that our registering user and logging in part is done now what we'll do is we'll restrict uh, the user to access route and if user is already signed in uh, we will take the user to the home page so currently uh, it is not working we are currently logged in but it is still showing these views and if we go to home page it is uh, redirecting us to sign in view so in order to uh, do do the restriction in route we need to go to router index so our this hello world requires authentication so we will assign the meta meta tag requires auth so you can do like this requires auth is true so this page requires auth that's why we set uh, the meta this variable to true now what we'll do is uh, before each route we'll check if uh, user is logged in or not so uh, in view router there are a uh, route routing guard i think uh, that will allow us to do uh, that so for that first uh, let's let's define this as a variable so this whole new thing let's cut it out and call this router and define router so we defined uh, this new class as this router and we are doing and we are exp exporting that router exactly same thing just this variable defined so what now we'll do is just uh, before we'll call before each guard and in callback to from and next so it is like uh, middleware in laravel if you use uh, that framework psv framework okay so inside this first we'll get the current user from firebase so fire uh, firebase auth current user and requires auth will get that variable from a meta tag so two is the route where we want to head like for example if user clicks sign in so the two route is sign in so two are uh, masked inside uh, the record will mass uh, will uh, access the meta and then variable which we define requires auth so for any route if requires auth is true uh, this will be true otherwise false so only for this uh, hello path it will be true for others it will be false or undefined okay so now that we have a uh, required parameter to decide whether uh, to allow the user to that uh, that route or not so we'll check here if uh, if the route we are accessing requires auth and uh, there is no current users means there is no logged in user we will call next we'll take user to login or in our case sign in route okay so if uh, if route requires authentication and user is not logged in we, we will direct user to sign in view or sign in route so for that will be the case for this so if user just directly uh, entered this url and it is not uh, user is not logged in 
will throw uh, will redirect user to sign in uh, page else if else if uh, the route doesn't requires auth and the user is logged in in that case will take user to the route which requires authentication in our case hello so if uh, none of above condition matches we'll just take user to whatever route user is trying to go so one thing what you can do is also define one more route to match for any URL uh, by doing this so for any url will uh, redirect user to sign in so if user is already authenticated we, uh, it will not take it to sign in page instead it will take user to this hello page since this condition will be satisfied in that case okay so that's all about uh, guarding the route so let's see that in action Okay, before that let's quickly add a logout button so we'll add that on add that on hello world component and we can for now just place it here logout and if user clicks we'll call this method logout and let's define it here logout And the way we do logout is firebase dot auth. So this will sign user out. Okay, so after logout we need to listen for the success event. Then sign in. So after logout we'll take user to sign in page. In case of error, we'll display that. Okay, let me show you one thing. Uh, let's try signing in web tab. There we go. If you refresh, it is still showing sign in. So we were in home page, but when we do refresh, it took us to sign in. So the reason this is happening is uh, so we defined this before each route, uh, these guards. So these are essential for taking us to uh, the necessary page, but when we refresh, uh, uh this is uh this is uh, executing first before uh, before firebase fetches uh, the current user so since this will be null uh, since firebase uh, cannot it will have to send a request to server and get back so by that time it will be still null and all other code will be executed that's why it is not working so the solution for that is uh let's go to main.js so what we'll do is we'll listen for the um, firebase authentication observer so firebase supplies us one method so after the firebase fetches everything or firebase has user logged in user will then uh, then load this our view component sorry this view instance so let's define it as app let's declare app first and then you simply just do like this so what we'll do is we'll listen for that observer firebase dot auth on auth state changed and we'll have user and if uh, app is not defined and now in this case we'll load up this initialize this view instance just here so all other on so all view related uh, work will be happen after uh, the firebase successfully fetches user or uh, any authenticated related change log out login sign in there we go so this time we got right response so how many time you do it will still show the right phase just to make everything is working we can log out and we can log in 
taking us to right page and refresh yeah we are still in same page all right so we learned uh, basic authentication with email and password in firebase so i will see you in the next video bye